Now, the Lakeville Muslim Jamaat, in conjunction with the BMCO, Bayes Park, Mackenzie Park, Rainsford, Faramir, New Moda, and the Benoni's Ladies Forum have established a new COVID-19 screening center in Benoni to help with the overbearing of the healthcare facilities as the country battles the third wave of the COVID-19. I'd like to welcome Akhtar Siddharth, who is leading this initiative, just to give us an idea of currently what is happening at the screening center. Akhtar, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And jazakallah so much for joining us. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakallah for having me on to the on ITV. Um, I think uh, it's important, yes, to uh, advertise, you know, what has been done so uh, many other communities could follow as well. And uh, the only reason I'm on this, actually, I don't like uh, much of a show, but it's to allow many others to see what's happening. And uh, if we could make it, whatever, we could make it easier for next Muslim brother, for another human being, uh, then we should do so. Akhtar, this uh, initiative that, that has been launched it, it is definitely for one reason and one reason only, just to help the, the healthcare facilities that are at this very moment really struggling to cope with the rising number of COVID-19 cases. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if we look uh, around, uh, our, around our surrounding areas, our community, we found that you know, we've been getting so many calls from so many people uh, there, are, there are families there that don't even know uh, who to turn to. There are some family members who were left single-handed. Um, other people were elderly, old people, and, and they just didn't know where to turn to. And that's where this whole initiative began. Uh, Akhtar, the COVID-19 screenings, I just want to get this correct uh, because a lot of people were asking me, so is this... Uh, uh, a, a, a place where you can get your COVID-19 test. So I just wanted to distinguish, can you get your COVID-19 test at the center? Yeah, at the center, you could get a COVID-19 uh, test done. Uh, that's a totally separate unit, independent unit. And at the same time, on the other side, we've got uh, medical assistance as well. Uh, we've got uh, physiotherapists uh, on the premises. We've got uh, paramedics to assist uh, people coming in who need really some real assistance. Doctor, how also, important... G, please carry on. Uh, we, we went one ahead. We also managed to get an ambulance on board. Uh, we got some medical doctors assisting as well. Uh, that was one of the bigger challenges to get uh, doctors on board. Obviously, at this moment in time, doctors are inundated with uh, work and, and, and calls, etc. So it's difficult for them as well. But uh, Alhamdulillah, we managed to get them on board and... Uh, some great work is being done there. Doctor, how important is it that we have these community initiatives? Because a lot of people say, well, you know, it's government, they must take care of us, or it's, you know, the private hospitals, they need to take care of us. But how important is it that you have, you know, communities taking charge and, you know, fighting this virus head on? I mean, I've spoken with uh, MASA and their initiative that they're doing, FMYO, are also involved in trying to, you know, help the healthcare facilities here in our country. So just the importance of community-based organizations in really playing their role to combat the virus. Yeah, I think uh, there's a very f uh, famous saying that goes, ask not what, you can, what your country can do for you, but rather what you can do for your country. I suppose knowing South Africa's economy uh, and what's going on at the moment, uh, we cannot be very dependent and reliant on the government. Obviously, there was a fire at, 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 at one of the hospitals in Johannesburg. That closed down and that put a lot of strain on, on, on many other hospitals. Currently, hospital, hospitals are very full. They don't have beds. So whatever little we can do, assist. At the end of the day, we like a bicycle wheel. Each spoke helps to keep the hub together. So it may seem small, but it said that we could save one person is like saving humanity. Dr. Siraj, we'd like to say Jazakallah to you for making the time for us and may Allah continue to grant you the ability to continue doing this good work, inshallah. I mean. Just a quick brief, if I could just say, mm. what we've also done with the Binon Ladies Forum, they've had a feeding scheme. Uh, so we've created a delivery, uh, a COVID delivery group as well. So we've got a number of people on there. And with oxygenators as well, we've uh, created a set. We seem to have lost uh, Akhtar Sida there as uh, 
probably internet connection that has come that's technology for you but we'd like to say jazakla to akhtar for making the time for us and really the good work that is being done in benoni in order to just help our healthcare facilities and the overbearing of our healthcare facilities at this time